Yeah. And you know, everyone says, come on now. Cause listen, there's literally thousands. My interview with Juicy went completely viral. Love There's it. a lot of people that are like, give me a fucking break, David and Juicy. You know, I'm look, Juicy does not feel he deserves to be there. But a lot of people are like, you did this to yourself. You can't blame the Gorgas. You can't blame Carolyn. You can't blame Jacqueline. You can't blame Danielle Staub or Dina Manzo. You can't blame Andy. You can't blame Margaret I Joseph. Agree. You I did agree. this. So I, we don't want to hear it. So I'm like, okay, but I, right. I agree with that. And I also agree with what Teresa is saying that you even associating with these people is, 1, I mean, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's very bad. It's very bad. However, and, but the thing is now, how about this is what's, this is, I'm going to, I can't, I don't want to get into it a hundred percent, but I'm going to le leave a food, <laughs> food for thought. You see the coming attractions when Teresa jumps up and looks uh, in Joe Gorga's face uh -huh. and says, you have secrets too. Everybody read between the lines because it's not financial. We know they have financial issues. It's not financial. There are some stories that shocked me that never came out. They've been floating around, floating around, never came out. He's very lucky. I think Teresa's just embarrassed as a family to bring them out. She's embarrassed. Or she would have, okay? These are stories that I heard years ago. The Judaises helped him when he he this situation happened. Um, this is some ugly stories about him that were never really brought to light, but they're floating out there. And when she stands up and look his, looks in his eye, I know what she means. I, I know. I just know. Because it's not financial. It's not. No, it's not. There's something deep and ugly that's a secret that she don't want to reveal because she's embarrassed by it. I agree with everything that you just said. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I agree with everything yeah. that you just said. Now, that's where you have to write. It's not financial. We're not. First of all, we've even talked about it on this podcast before. Allegedly, we don't know, but these things are out there regardless of David yes. or Kim. Floating all around last up, night, Twitter. Last night, Twitter was floating around. Right. So she's not talking financial. She's not talking about the parents' house because that's financial. Nope. She's talking about Joe Gorga and his romantic. I don't even know if romantic is his. No, it's not romantic. Past with women. Right. Yes. And there are yes. things now you have to look at the statute of limitations and this and yeah. that, but this is where I personally call me a tree hugger, a tree stomp or whatever. This is where I, I personally give Teresa credit. I do. Because percent. If I went to jail and my, and oh. all of this, and here we are, this is the end. And you are still pushing me. I'm giving you a free pass. She stands yeah. up, she's yeah. in his face and she's like, you have done things. I would, I mean, I don't think I could withhold. I, I think I would Either, say, I, this I is what you've done. Because like, we're calling it, because we're being honest here, Melissa and Joe. Yep. This is what you've done. It is illegal. You could go to jail for way yep. longer than me yep. or, or yep. Juicy. And I'm just going to say it here on this stage. I agree with you. Maybe she's embarrassed. I just, I, I think still she's think she's like, this is so... I mean, you would go to jail again, unless the time has passed that you yeah, can't I be charged know. for this, but you could go to jail for a really long time. Really? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, where she's like, holding if you're it in. still pushing. If you are still, I'm giving you one last. Yeah, but pass. I'm going to let's go a step further. She now. runs out. Yeah, I'm going to step further. We still have that wild card. If Teresa knows, he knows. That's the wild card. I think Gorga should bid adieu. I think. If they let them go, they should start the zit in Italian. Shut your mouth because you got that wild card who's not afraid to delve into things. Okay. He's not afraid of calling people and getting, um, you know, he called the jail. He called the kid. We don't know who he's going to call next. So he's going to have call. If the Gorgas get fired, I think it's a blessing because I have a gut feeling that this guy, he's a loose cannon. He will bring it up. Teresa might not. He'll he'll, he'll go investigate it. He'll go find. That's right. 
whoever witnesses yep. and and yep. say i actually have proof let let's open this case Listen, here. whether whether the kid goes to jail or not for it it coming out alone is ugly is an ugly situation and you know what i've called louis the wild card for a long time now you see all the stuff that's coming out i'm always right when it comes to wild card situations and then when you're gonna all see him shake hands with everybody you're gonna say to yourself i can't like i just can't believe it it's wild. It's really wild. What's what's happening on that stage? It's really wild. These are things that just don't happen, you know. So these are things that just don't happen. I still feel, and maybe I'm wrong. I agree. Maybe the pause will be over after this. Listen, to be honest with you, the quicker the pause ends, the less positive I feel that is for Melissa Gorga and Margaret. I just feel. First of all, I mean, th Twitter has gone crazy. Like people really, I, we said this all season, but it, we're, nothing has changed again. People are done. This is, it's, it's, it's yeah, over. They, they don't want to see it's this over. ever again. It is over. They and do so, not want to see this no. ever again. And so I feel that this long pause that we potentially heard about the short, because I heard some grumblings too, that it might be shorter now. The shorter it is, I don't think it's good for Melissa because I no. feel there's no need for a pause. You look, I've said it, I've said it again. They want to keep Melissa. Of course they do, yeah. they, but they can't. I mean, so all of this, I do think Melissa is winning the reunion. I do. I think she is really, Teresa doesn't even know how to fucking respond. No. She doesn't even know what to say. So Melissa, no. you are doing a great, you are yes. going out. You are so, you are slamming this girl. You, your your yeah. responses are funny. They're intelligent. Yes. They're smart. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. none of that matters. None nope. of it. It's like when we watch Lisa Rinna up there and there's, well, it was such a toxic, you watch Beverly Hills yes. girl. It was yes. so toxic and yes, boss and this, and they're just like, none of this matters because we nope. will not mention a bot. We will not mention yep. Diana. We yep. will not mention it's over. racism. Yep. It's like rinna has gone and it's like, she was never there. And so season. is Kathy Hilton. So is Kathy Hilton. She's not coming back either because people believe she did that racist rant. And she took, they believe that, that that happened. And they, they believe. I'm that. sure she so, did. I still think yeah, she left yeah. on her own. I don't think she wanted to film. I, I do um, believe. No, I agree because she, she knows what she did. And she's probably saying, I can't put myself in that position anymore. She was smart to leave. Um, she was. But listen, next I'm telling you. I, just, I agree with you. I think uh, that's going to happen. I go I through believe every they can make... scenario trying to keep Melissa. Well, I, I, I cannot my scenario, find one. My scenario would be, if I was the producer, I would keep them all. I know this sounds crazy. I don't think this is, is going to happen. I'd give Teresa her own little thing, couple episodes for one season, couple episodes, 